Let's review the Angel Tarot. I have had this deck for some time and I will be perfectly honest with you, it is not one that I reach for all the time, but that's only because I use it to speak with angels. This is set up in a little bit different way, um, representing the 72 angels of the Kabbalah. That's what the inside of the box looks like. It comes with a very beautiful guidebook. It gives you a little bit of introduction about who the angels are, the different hierarchy, and it also gives you instructions like how to conjure them as well. It gives you instructions on how to summon angelic spirits and then how to properly use these cards to do so. This deck isn't set up like a traditional tarot deck. Um, it starts with the six um, archangels and the author of the deck has assigned the angel to a tarot card meaning. So we have Michael as the chariot, Metatron, Gabriel, Uriel, Samael, and Haniel. And then each card has like their names as well. So Haniel is like joy of God. There's Michael who is like God. And then on the card it, sh it shows their sigils and then basically what their job is. And the rest of the deck is the 72 angels. And each of them have their own situation. I like to use this deck when I'm talking to angels specifically to help me identify which angel I'm speaking with and then using the rest of the cards to divine a message. If you're drawn to angel work, is that if this is your path, then I highly recommend this deck. If you're not familiar with working with angels, this might be a good tool to help you learn how to do that. But just like everything else within witchcraft and divination, be cautious about what you invite into your home. These cards are very receptive. This is one of those decks where I cannot bend it. They don't like to be bent. These are kept perfect all the time. That's my impression of it. Now, what's its impression of me? Oh, okay. Judgment card. <laughs> the judgment card in regular tarot has a Gabriel on it, so that's cool. They're basically saying that I've had a lot of life experience and I have a level head. Thank you. Thank you, angels. Now, who might find value in your messages? Who might be best suited to use your deck? Okay. Ooh, page of wands. This, what is this? Irithel, the preventing god. Saves from enemies. Page of wands means like someone that's like um, new to this path, um, might be new to this aspect of their life, and they are seeking mentorship, seeking guidance. Um, yeah, cool, maybe a fire sign. I have some time left, so I asked them for a message for you, and they're literally saying you should put yourself out there, that there is someone romantic or a partnership out there that is gonna be very harmonious for you. You just have to keep an open mind. Oh, perhaps they're talking about a relationship with them. Love this deck, man. I love angels. What other decks do you want me to review?